New video sent to KCRA 3 shows resources from the Sacramento region headed to the Central Coast. Four to five personnel from CAL FIRE's Amador El Dorado unit is staffed at the McClellan Air Tanker Base to help fight the Colorado fire from the air. On top of that, the unit sent a strike team this morning made up of 35 people who will work to battle and manage the firefight on the ground near Big Sur. The help from around the state is needed. It's a reminder that uh, fires like this can't happen. Firefighters with CAL FIRE say there are currently lower staffing levels because it's technically off season, but there are more personnel ready now than there used to be at this time. In the past, when, when I was a young firefighter, would would lay folks off and, and, and um, reduce the number of engines that are available to respond as well as the number of firefighters that are available to respond. Um, that isn't necessarily the case anymore. Fires during the colder months, which are supposed to be wetter, used to be more rare. This coastal fire shows that's changing. This is going to be something that is more frequent going into the future um, as far as the uh, what we in the past considered an off season fire, uh, you know, fires that happened you know, essentially between December and let's say March. Increasingly dry conditions aren't helping. This latest fire just came too soon. About three months ago is when the Caldor and Dixie fires were fully contained. Both of those blazes caused historic damage. We asked Cal Fire Battalion Chief Isaac Sanchez his predictions for the future as the Colorado fire burns tonight. I wish I had a, a crystal ball that, that could tell me exactly the answer that you're looking for. You know, essentially the million dollar question, what kind of a fire year are we going to have? He says what he can count on is fire crews from around the state helping each other when they need it most. While they may be fighting a fire in Monterey, there's going to be a time when those Monterey resources are going to come back in the other direction. In Sacramento, Brittany Hope, KCRA 3 News. KCRA reached out to the California Governor's Office of Emergency Services. The agency says it hasn't received a request for help yet from the crews on the ground. If resources are needed, Cal OES says it's prepared to respond.